Hi, it's Anthony. I wanted to quickly demonstrate this basic cushion shape to you. It takes various materials pretty well. It's very versatile. I've got a hypernerve, a cube, a bulge, and a spherify. The trick was actually figuring out where to make the cuts. Let's go to a new scene. Got a cube, it's 60 centimeters by 15 by 60. Let's zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. Make the cube editable by pressing the C key on your keyboard. Go to your knife tool, which is the K key shortcut. Make sure that you're in loop mode and in point mode. Come down just from the top and create a little cut. Come up from the bottom, create another little cut. Go to the Polygon Selection Tool. Select the top. Use the Extrude Inner and pull in just a little bit. Use the Extrude and you're actually going to be going down switch over to bevel and bevel out about two centimeters. I'm going to manually type those distances in there. All right, we're going to want to pull in the sides as well. So get the loop select tool and go ahead and loop, uh, loop select all the sides. Switch over to your scale tool and pull that in just a little bit. Keeping those, keeping those movements fairly subtle because uh, later on when we add the modifiers, we, we want the, the edge here to not be so predominant, but there, but not predominant. Let's go back to the uh, knife tool which is again the K key. And, uh, well, you know what we're gonna do first? Let's throw this in the hypernerve just so we can see what we have. Here's the hypernerve. Uh, let's put that back, let's put that up to three and see. That's what we're dealing with without any additional cuts. Now if we come over here, make sure we're in point mode, make sure the cube is selected, and put a cut in the corner, we'll sh we can shore up these corners so that the, uh, the square shape stays pretty square. While we're at it, let's give a little, um, let's give uh, some cuts to the top as well. So the, um, the top has some segments to, um, to, to create shape with. Let's do that same thing to the side, about 25% down, about 25% up. So that it's cut up pretty well now. That should form the shape and also give us a softer feeling. Yeah, there you go. So what we want to do now is add the modifiers. Let's put a bulge modifier on the cube. We know the measurements, they're 60 by 15 by 60. Let's pull the bulge up around the cube and just come down where you can see the effect and throw a little bit of puff on the, on the, on the edge there. Uh, six is good, Ooh, six looks about right. Uh, I'm going to go with five. Okay, and we'll have a quick look. All right, not, not looking too bad. Let's go ahead and throw a fabric on there so we can see it with the fabric. I'm going to make the U length 10% and the V length 10% and switch the mapping over to cubic and have another look. That's not looking too bad. Let's puff out the top. 
we're going to take the spherify modifier and uh, take the strength down to zero, uh, drop that on the cube, I'm going to put it underneath the bulge. Uh, let's make the size a little bit smaller than the, the pillow itself, and then pull the modifier up so that it's relatively centered with the um, cushion. And let's try the strength. As you can see, it can get pretty puffy. Um, we don't want that much, just a little bit. Just so the inside of the pillow has a little bit of bulge, so that uh, a little bit of uh, roundness, so it looks real, real-ish, you know, real in terms of comfortable. All right, that's uh, not looking too bad. Let's try it with another fabric. Whoa, we don't want another cube. We just want to look at this red leather, and that's that's looking pretty good. This uh, this um, piping here came out a little bit thick in this particular go around, but uh, that's. Uh, something you can do to taste if you've got you know very very little then you know make those little cuts even smaller and uh, if you've got big piping you can make those cuts big again and uh, you'll have a, a basic uh, pillow shape um, certainly you can group this and throw it in a null, I mean throw it in a cloner. And let's take the Y down to zero. Let's push the Z out. And you, you have you know, certainly you've got the beginnings of uh, some kind of a couch or some kind of other other seating unit, uh, a bench, a museum, something like that. All right, well, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.